It's Marissa. And I'm Lauren. We're testing inventions to see if they live up to expectations. We're here to answer the most important question. It's cool. But does it really work? All right, so here we have the master pan. Let's open it up. OK. Oh, I see. <laughs> that is that very was... heavy. So something interesting is it's not, it looks like a cast iron pan, but it is not. You can put it in the dishwasher, but it says it will gradually stain and discolor over time after multiple washes. <laughs> this is normal with most frying oh, pans. Good. And this will not affect the nonstick coating or the performance of the pan. It'll just be ugly. I think that this is gonna work. I think it's a great multitasking tool and it's going to distribute the heat perfectly throughout the entire pan so you can cook multiple things at once for any meal. I don't think this is gonna work. I think it's gonna be really difficult to distribute the heat evenly and I think timing, it's gonna be really hard to figure out how long it'll take the meats to cook versus the eggs versus the pancakes. So I have low hopes. <laughs> Now we're gonna use the master pan to make a whole array of breakfast. So we got eggs, jumbo eggs, frozen hash browns, pancake mix, sausage, finally our turkey bacon. Oh, this is perfect, it's getting really hot. Do you think we have to turn it down? Like it cook it at a low temperature? I'm gonna crack one egg. Oh, we were supposed to do this last, right? Do you think it matters? I don't think these are cooked. Does okay. it look cooked? Eat it. Of course. I'll just get some <laughs> Mmm, I don't know. It's a little gooey. No, 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 no. <laughs> All right, so the first time we messed up, <laughs> we're going to put the oil in because we forgot that stuff and it made all of our meats and ash browns less crispy. Yeah. So we came to the conclusion that this is probably something to just have one pan instead of 15 or I guess max four on your burner. Right. Um, instead of just cooking everything at the same time. So we're gonna do it that way instead and just kind of strategic, just, just, just that works. We're just it gonna- It happened with me too, yeah. yeah. Just gonna, Strategically. Yes, put everything on the <laughs> burner. Right. The pan. The good thing about this taking so long to heat up is while well, heating up, you can make coffee. Yeah. And that's what you really need in the morning, <laughs> is coffee. <laughs> This right. is what we need! Bam! Look how beautiful it looks! I feel like we were really skeptical going in it and doing it the second time, but this is a nice plate of food. I was totally on board when it first started, and then we started cooking on it, and we were kind of doing it all wrong, and yeah. that made me feel worse about it. Right, right. But once we kind of got the hang of it, trained ourselves a little bit, took a deep breath, we were able to find success. <laughs> I did not think this would work because of the heat distribution thing. Yeah. Which still it did Still was a little weird. That took a while. It could have been our hot plate though. Right, it probably was our hot plate, mm -hmm. but what it did do was just condense everything on the stove or on our hot plate and it made everything, it cooked everything. We don't okay. have any raw items on this plate no, right now. No, not at all. But yeah. the pan did its job. It cooked all these things and it did it in a convenient way. And it did it kind of slowly, but. In a convenient way. So was this invention a total disaster or a huge success? Or something in between? Let us know in the comments. Be sure to subscribe to see more episodes of Does It Really Work? This one's mm. better cooked than the last one. Our last scrambled eggs, mm. we kind of made a muffin out of them. Because we didn't mix them enough. <laughs> this is, um, it's still dry. <laughs> It might just be that though. It might just be the bacon.